So if you've been following my new YouTube channel, you know that I've just started a vlog and I decided that I want to be able to take my vlog outside. Uh, so what I'm going to try today is using one of my favorite little cameras, the DJI Osmo Pocket. I'm going to go for a walk, try vlogging, and I'm going to show you some of the accessories that I use and also a tip and technique for dual system sound. So I picked up the Osmo a few months ago before a trip to England. So I had some experience using the Osmo Pocket on that trip, but I did find that one of the very few downsides of the camera is the audio recording quality. Not that it's bad, but it just, the audio can distort really easily and just the tiniest breeze can throw it off. So what I did on that trip is I used this wind muff and I would just kind of put the wind muff around the, the bottom of the thing like this and, and then just kind of hold it. And that worked okay, but it uh, got in the way of the screen and it kind of got away the buttons. and So it was okay, but it wasn't fantastic. So what I'm going to do today instead is I'm going to take this Sony little pocket recorder and this guy, a uh, lavalier microphone. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug the lavalier microphone into the recorder uh, and then put it in my pocket and then record both at the same time and then line them up when I get back afterwards. So let's show you how I do that. So I've got my, I don't know if you can see it, I've got my lavalier microphone here and I have that plugged into the audio recorder and this thing has a little hold button on the side so that it doesn't stop recording, right? And I'm just put that in my pocket. And now I have two sources of audio recording, one from the pocket and one from the lavalier. So uh, a simple technique I use to line them up is just to go like that or like that. Basically any kind of sound that will create a peak on the audio file that will be really easy to line up. So let's switch back and forth between what the pocket sounds like and what the lavalier sounds like and see which one we prefer. Here's the Osmo Pocket by itself. And here's the lavalier by itself. But so down here, you can see in the video, here we can see the snap and the clap, right? Snap, clap. And then up here in the audio file, we can see these two peaks, snap and clap. So what I do then is you can use this, these peaks to uh, line up these two audio files. So I hope I made that clear about how I use the peaks in the audio files to line up the separate tracks together. Uh, if not, please uh, feel free to ask questions in the comments below. But one other thing I wanted to add about the DJI Osmo Pocket that I think you will absolutely need is some filters. Uh, it's an f2.8 camera, and outside in the bright sunlight, you just don't have a chance of exposing properly without them. I would say if you can only get one, get uh, an ND16, and if you can get two or more, definitely get 16 and 32 uh, and then maybe an ND8 or maybe ND64. Uh, so that's it. Uh, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please click the like button can, and share and consider subscribing for more. Thanks.